J.P.S. Tanakh 1917. The Jewish Bible, Old Testament, in English, published by the Jewish Publication Society in 1917. 14 And this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord. Throughout your generations ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. 15 Seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread. Howbeit the first day ye shall put away leaven out of your houses. For whosoever eateth leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. 16 And in the first day there shall be to you a holy convocation, and in the seventh day a holy convocation. No manner of work shall be done in them, save that which every man must eat, that only may be done by you. 17 And ye shall observe the feast of unleavened bread. For in this selfsame day have I brought your hosts out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall ye observe this day throughout your generations by an ordinance forever. 18 In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month at even, ye shall eat unleavened bread, until the one and twentieth day of the month at even. 19 Seven days shall there be no leaven found in your houses. For whosoever eateth that which is leavened, that soul shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel, whether he be a sojourner, or one that is born in the land. Twenty ye shall eat nothing leavened, in all your habitations shall ye eat unleavened bread. Twenty one then Moses called for all the elders of Israel, and said unto them, Draw out, and take you lambs according to your families, and kill the Passover lamb. Twenty two and ye shall take a bunch of hyssop, and dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the lintel and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin, and none of you shall go out of the door of his house until the morning. 23 For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians, and when he seeth the blood upon the lintel, and on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the door, and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your houses to smite you. 24 And ye shall observe this thing for an ordinance to thee and to thy sons forever. 25 And it shall come to pass, when ye be come to the land which the Lord will give you, according as he hath promised, that ye shall keep this service. 26 And it shall come to pass, when your children shall say unto you, What mean ye by this service? 27 That ye shall say, It is the sacrifice of the Lord's Passover, for that he passed over the houses of the children of Israel in Egypt when he smote the Egyptians, and delivered our houses. And the people bowed the head and worshipped. 28 And the children of Israel went and did so, as the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron, so did they. 29 And it came to pass at midnight, that the Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat on his throne unto the firstborn of the captive that was in the dungeon, and all the firstborn of cattle. 30 And Pharaoh rose up in the night, he, and all his servants, and all the Egyptians, and there was a great cry in Egypt, for there was not a house where there was not one dead. 31 And he called for Moses and Aaron by night and said, Rise up, get you forth from among my people, both ye and the children of Israel, and go, serve the Lord, as ye have said. 32 Take both your flocks and your herds, as ye have said, and be gone and bless me also. 33 And the Egyptians were urgent upon the people, to send them out of the land in haste. For they said, We are all dead men. 34 And the people took their dough before it was leavened, their kneading troughs being bound up in their clothes upon their shoulders. 35 And the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses, and they asked of the Egyptians jewels of silver, and jewels of gold, and raiment. 36 And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they let them have what they asked. And they despoiled the Egyptians. 37 And the children of Israel journeyed from Ramesses to Succoth, about 600,000 men on foot, beside children. 38 And a mixed multitude went up also with them, and flocks, and herds, even very much cattle. 39 And they baked unleavened cakes of the dough which they brought forth out of Egypt for it was not leavened, because they were thrust out of Egypt, and could not tarry, neither had they prepared for themselves any victual. Forty now the time that the children of Israel dwelt in Egypt was four hundred and thirty years. Forty-one and it came to pass at the end of four hundred and thirty years, 
even the selfsame day it came to pass, that all the host of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. 42 It was a night of watching unto the Lord for bringing them out from the land of Egypt. This same night is a night of watching unto the Lord for all the children of Israel throughout their generations. 43 And the Lord said unto Moses and Aaron, This is the ordinance of the Passover. There shall no alien eat thereof. 44 But every man's servant that is bought for money, when thou hast circumcised him, then shall he eat thereof. 45 A sojourner and a hired servant shall not eat thereof. 46 In one house shall it be eaten. Thou shalt not carry forth aught of the flesh abroad out of the house, neither shall ye break a bone thereof. 47 All the congregation of Israel shall keep it. 48 And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee, and will keep the Passover to the Lord, let all his males be circumcised, and then let him come near and keep it and he shall be as one that is born in the land. But no uncircumcised person shall eat thereof. 49 One law shall be to him that is homeborn, and unto the stranger that sojourneth among you. 50 Thus did all the children of Israel. As the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron, so did they. 51 And it came to pass the selfsame day that the Lord did bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt by their hosts. 13 one and the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Two, sanctify unto me all the firstborn, whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and a beast, it is mine. 3 And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day, in which ye came out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For by strength of hand the Lord brought you out from this place, there shall no leavened bread be eaten. For this day ye go forth in the month of Eve. 5 And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Amorite, and the Hivite, and the Jebusite, which he swore unto thy fathers to give thee, a land flowing with milk and honey, that thou shalt keep this service in this month. 6 Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and in the seventh day shall be a feast to the Lord. Seven unleavened bread shall be eaten throughout the seven days, and there shall no leavened bread be seen with thee, neither shall there be leaven seen with thee, in all thy borders. Eight and thou shalt tell thy son in that day, saying, It is because of that which the Lord did for me when I came forth out of Egypt. Nine and it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thy hand, and for a memorial between thine eyes, that the law of the Lord may be in thy mouth. For with a strong hand hath the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. 10 Thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in its season from year to year. 11 And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanite, as he swore unto thee and to thy fathers, and shall give it thee. 12 That thou shalt set apart unto the Lord all that openeth the womb. Every firstling that is a male, which thou hast coming of a beast, shall be the Lord's. 13 And every firstling of an ass thou shalt redeem with a lamb. And if thou wilt not redeem it, then thou shalt break its neck. And all the firstborn of man among thy sons shalt thou redeem. 14 And it shall be when thy son asketh thee in time to come, saying, What is this? That thou shalt say unto him, By strength of hand the Lord brought us out from Egypt, from the house of bondage. 15 And it came to pass, when Pharaoh would hardly let us go that the Lord slew all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man, and the firstborn of beast. Therefore I sacrifice to the Lord all that openeth the womb, being males. But all the firstborn of my sons I redeem. 16 And it shall be for a sign upon thy hand, and for frontlets between thine eyes. For by strength of hand the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt. 17 And it came to pass, when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God led them not by the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, Lest peradventure the people repent when they see war, and they return to Egypt. 18 But God led the people about, by the way of the wilderness by the Red Sea. And the children of Israel went up armed out of the land of Egypt. 19 And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him. For he had straightly sworn the children of Israel, saying, God will surely remember you, 
and ye shall carry up my bones away hence with you. 20 And they took their journey from Succoth, and encamped in Etham, in the edge of the wilderness. 21 And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud, to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire, to give them light, that they might go by day and by night. 22 The pillar of cloud by day, and the pillar of fire by night, departed not from before the people. 14 1 And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, 2 Speak unto the children of Israel, that they turn back and encamp before pi Hara, between Migdal and the sea, before Baal-Zephon, over against it shall ye encamp by the sea. 3 And Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, they are entangled in the land, the wilderness hath shut them in. 4 And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and he shall follow after them, and I will get me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon all his host, and the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord. And they did so. 5 And it was told the king of Egypt that the people were fled, and the heart of Pharaoh and of his servants was turned towards the people, and they said, What is this we have done, that we have let Israel go from serving us? 6 And he made ready his chariots, and took his people with him. 7 And he took six hundred chosen chariots, and all the chariots of Egypt, and captains over all of them. 8 And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh king of Egypt, and he pursued after the children of Israel, for the children of Israel went out with a high hand. 9 And the Egyptians pursued after them, all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, and his horsemen, and his army and overtook them encamping by the sea, beside pi Hara, in front of Baal-Zephon. 10 And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and, behold, the Egyptians were marching after them, and they were sore afraid, and the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. 11 And they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us, to bring us forth out of Egypt? 12 Is not this the word that we spoke unto thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians? For it were better for us to serve the Egyptians, than that we should die in the wilderness. 13 And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For whereas ye have seen the Egyptians today, ye shall see them again no more forever. 14 The Lord will fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. 15 And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. 16 And lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thy hand over the sea, and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go into the midst of the sea on dry ground. 17 And I, behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall go in after them. And I will get me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon all his host, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. 18 And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. 19 And the angel of God, who went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them, and the pillar of cloud removed from before them, and stood behind them. Twenty and it came between the camp of Egypt and the camp of Israel, and there was the cloud and the darkness here, yet gave it light by night there, and the one came not near the other all the night. Twenty-one and Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all the night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. 22 And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand, and on their left. 23 And the Egyptians pursued, and went in after them into the midst of the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. 24 And it came to pass in the morning watch, that the Lord looked forth upon the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of cloud and discomfited the host of the Egyptians. 25 And he took off their chariot wheels, and made them to drive heavily, so that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. 26 And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand over the sea, 
that the waters may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. 27 And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its strength when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. 28 And the waters returned, and covered the chariots, and the horsemen, even all the host of Pharaoh that went in after them into the sea. There remained not so much as one of them. 29 But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea. And the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand, and on their left. 30 Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. 31 And Israel saw the great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians. And the people feared the Lord. And they believed in the Lord, and in his servant Moses. 15. One then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord, and spoke, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he is highly exalted. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea.